want you to know that right now, at this very moment, the world is making room for you and your business idea. You have to believe in yourself. That's it. That's all it comes down to. You're listening to Side Hustle Pro, the podcast that teaches you to build and grow your side hustle from passion project to profitable business. And I'm your host, Nikayla Matthews Okome. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the show. It's Nikayla here, and I'm back with week two of the Side Hustle Pro Bootcamp series. Now, this is my real life, so we had, or I should say I had, an unintended break in the series last week, so I did not publish an episode, but that is A-OK. I am giving myself grace because life happens, all right? And I know you guys understand because I'm sure that you are also navigating through the curveballs of this whole life in a pandemic thing. So thank you for your support, your patience with me, and your excitement about the series as well. All of you who've joined the boot camp, all of you who are in the Facebook group now, chiming in on the boot camp threads. I really, really appreciate you guys. Now, I have still been working hard behind the scenes, juggling life plus also filming content for my new YouTube channel. I didn't anticipate just how much um, content wouldn't be good (laughs) with the first time you film it. So it's been a lot of testing. Even my hair tutorials, like it's one thing when you do it for yourself and, um, you know, you can live with it. It's your, your hair. You can make it work. But when you're actually filming it so that it works for someone else, when they try to do it, it's like it takes it to a whole nother level where you really want it to be good. So it has been an interesting learning process for me of what it takes to really record this kind of content so that it's helpful for others. But it's it's been fun. I'm learning a lot in the process. Again, this is a passion, hobby, side hustle that I'm starting. So it is fun to be at this level where it's completely just something that I'm doing for fun. Now, along the way, like everyone else, I've been experiencing my fair share of doubts and the temptation to abandon this idea altogether. I have questioned myself endlessly, wondered if my plans are silly or if my new side hustle is confusing for my personal brand and so much more has run through my head. And as I'm going through all this, I thought I would share what my thought process is. So week two actually was not going to be about the whole thought process and how to push past your doubt and overcome it. But as I've been going through this and also as I have been talking to people, this theme keeps coming up. Like people are telling me they admire me or, you know, they really love what I'm doing. And then they go on to explain some reason that's holding them back from pursuing their side hustle. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We need to address this. Okay. So I thought I would share my thought process and the tips I have for getting through this period when the doubts start happening. And I want to share with you so that you can push through too. You might think you're the only one who experiences these doubts, but it's actually fairly common. You might think you have some unique situation like, oh no, Nikayla, but I haven't told you why I'm not doing my side hustle or what's been holding me back. I'm here to tell you, you are not unique, (laughs) okay? This happens to all of us and there are certain things that you can do to push through. When I ask people why they won't start or why they won't pursue what interests they have had forever, they all point to what you are going through as well, which comes down to doubt. That is essentially all it is. Doubt may look different for different people. For example, for some people, it manifests as the perfectly reasonable and logical sounding list of reasons you tell yourself why you can't do something. That is all doubt speaking. It might manifest for you as thinking you don't have enough time. I'm here to tell you that we make time for the things that are important to us. And it might not go quickly, but that doesn't mean you can't allocate some time to your thing. And this is not to shame anybody whatsoever. I am sharing that even if it is literally five minutes a day, that five minutes adds up. So doubt can look like that saying, oh, I'm too busy for this. I don't have time for this or I could never do this. And I'm here to say, why not you? That's what I repeat to myself a lot. I'm like, 
Why not me? If not me, then who? Why not me? Get into the habit of saying that to yourself. This idea is not bigger than you. You were given this idea for a reason. So why not me? Why not you? So you see why we simply can't talk about starting our side hustles without addressing this elephant in the room, which is the critical piece of getting past being our own worst critic and enemy. So this episode will be all about how to push past the doubt and move forward with your side hustle idea. And remember, you can join me deeper in this process for the next three weeks in the Side Hustle Pro Boot Camp, where we're going to push through and start our next side hustle by any means necessary. Just a reminder too, although I use the word boot camp, this is not going to be a strenuous ask of you, all right? This is not some kind of, you know, exercise workout boot camp, nothing like that. This is solely a commitment boot camp. So it's a commitment to yourself and an accountability support group to help you stop being intimidated by these dreams and these ideas that you have in your head that you're not implementing. It's to help you break things down into super small achievable steps and big each other up when we get things done, all right? It's to have someone celebrate you like you deserve to be celebrated. So if you're interested in joining the bootcamp, just head over to sidehustlepro.co slash bootcamp to join. You're going to receive a weekly dedicated email with side hustle tips from me. I'm only sending this to bootcampers, not to the whole Side Hustle Pro list. Plus, I am sharing behind the scenes sneak peeks of my own journey to starting my YouTube channel. So if you've already joined the boot camp, you got actually a sneak peek of my very first video or my recording of a first video. It was a rough draft, very rough, but I shared that with everyone because it is very helpful for me to have that accountability to do the work. We'll also have weekly check-ins in the Side Hustle Pro Facebook group. So that is the major area where we are able to communicate with each other, share what we're working on, big each other up, support each other, all right? And finally, I will send out a recap guide at the end of the four weeks with all of the tips shared throughout the weeks. Again, only sending the recap to the boot campers, just summing it up in one place for you guys. So sign up at sidehustlepro.co slash bootcamp if you want to receive this encouragement and support. Now, let's talk about the stages of the side hustle. The first phase, we all love this phase, is the excitement phase where you get the I got it moment. I know what would be a great idea. You know, this is that, you know what would be cool moment <laughs> where an idea popped into your head and you're like, why doesn't this exist? I should do this. Oh my goodness. Like, I wish someone would create. And then you start thinking, you know what? Maybe I can create. So that's that excitement, momentum kind of feeling that happens in the beginning. Then inevitably, you doubt yourself. You're like, can I really do this? Am I qualified? Am I good enough? Do I know enough? How in the world am I going to do this by myself? Then somehow you work up enough motivation to kind of inch forward. You take a few steps to learn more about what it would take to implement this idea, this business idea. But what inevitably happens again is you encounter a small setback. You see someone else doing something you want to do, or you see a business with a similar concept and convince yourself that they will be better at it. What am I even thinking? What am I doing? And then again, you ask yourself, why are you even trying to get into this space? So many people are already doing it and doing it better than you, you tell yourself, or doing something similar and doing it better than you. And I don't have this. I don't have that. This person does this well because they do that well. I can't do that like them. Blah, 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 blah. So you essentially go back to doubting yourself again. You question, can I really do this? Am I qualified? Am I good enough? Do I know enough? How in the world am I going to do this by myself? But again, somehow you work up the nerve to push forward again. You often pause though, filled with confusion about how to move forward and nerves about if you can actually do this. You wonder where to begin. Are you beginning at the right place? Is there something that you're missing? You start comparing your day less than one to someone else's day 1800. 
And then you get frustrated because your brand doesn't look and feel like someone who has already gone through the growing pains of branding and now has a graphic designer, social media manager, copywriter, and marketing director on staff. And more importantly, someone has the experience because they have been doing this for 1,800 days while you have been doing it for less than one But then the next phase, you manage to give yourself a pep talk yet again and keep going. And this cycle repeats itself over and over again, you guys. How do I know? Because this is the cycle that I've come to recognize is a part of my process. And this is the cycle that I hear so many people in, except a lot of them stay stuck in that first round of doubt. They stay stuck in that for far, far too long. And I want you to get out of that. You're going to meet up with it again, but you might as well get out of the first wave of it because (laughs) at least you will inch forward some more and more and more. If you're waiting for this cycle to end, by the way, and for you to one day feel absolutely comfortable, absolutely sure of yourself moving forward, I'm here to share that that day is not coming. (laughs) That day is not coming. What you have to learn to do instead is to keep moving forward anyway, in spite of these feelings. What actually helps you to push forward through the cycle are the tips I'm going to share with you today. And what also helps is just doing. By doing, you gain confidence because yes, you will fall on your face sometimes, you'll make mistakes, but that experience gives you confidence because you're like, oh, now I know how to do this. Now I know not to do that other thing. And before you know it, you are so informed because you've been doing the work, learning the things, And that is what gives you more confidence, not some magical, miraculous moment when all of a sudden just all this confidence seeps into your skin. That is not going to happen. So what I'm going to share with you today are some tips that I personally employ to get through. So tip number one, affirm that there is room for you. What I mean by that is you literally have to affirm yourself. You have to speak life into yourself. Say to yourself, there is room for me. What's for me is for me. And nobody can take that away from me. You know how many times when I first started Side Hustle Pro, you can even go back and listen to some of my early episodes. I candidly talk about the fact that, man, I see some of my fellow podcasters on this list of podcasts And I'm like, man, I wish I was on that list. Why didn't they include me? Meanwhile, I was like six months into podcasting. But that's the kind of ambition and drive I had. And instead of getting down in the dumps and quitting and saying, oh, man, like no one even sees me. They don't see me. They don't recognize what I'm doing. This show doesn't matter. I kept going. Five years in, just today I posted on my Instagram that I was featured in the top 21 podcast to listen to in 2021 by Forbes. Like, that is something I never could have envisioned when I first started five years ago if I had only just stayed stuck in that place of I wasn't included in this initial list. I affirmed myself. I said, you know what? That list wasn't for me. That award wasn't for me. What's mine is mine. There is room for me. What's for me is for me. And nobody can take that away from me. I want you to know that right now, At this very moment, the world is making room for you and your business idea. And this is not some woo-woo stuff, okay? (laughs) I'm not trying to do no, you know, and no knocks anyone who believes in certain kind of like manifestation work. But this is just me literally saying that you have to believe in yourself. That's it. That's all it comes down to. You have to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself the way you believe in your friends, the way you believe in the person who you're always hyping up like, oh, you're so great. You're so good at this. You have to say that to yourself, No one has ever, ever seen your idea done quite the way you're about to do it, okay? You have something special that you haven't put out there yet that no one's ever seen before. Hey guys, it's Nikayla here with a quick word from our sponsors. Now, the other day, I was talking to a Side Hustle Pro guest. We were wrapping up the episode and she mentioned again just how 
difficult and stressful HR was for her as she's ramping up her new business. So I was like, girl, have you heard about Gusto? Are you using that? And she said she hadn't heard about it. And I was like, you have got to look into Gusto and you guys too. Let me tell you, if you have turned your side hustle into an official business, then you are probably starting to see that small business owners We wear a lot of hats and not all of these hats are fun. Let me tell you, let me keep it real with you. Not all of these hats are fun. Things like filing taxes and running payroll, they can be really daunting. But that is where Gusto comes in. Gusto makes payroll, taxes, and HR actually easy for small businesses like ours. You have fast, simple payroll processing, benefits, and expert HR support all in one place. And Gusto automatically pays and files your federal, state, and local taxes so you don't have to worry about it. Plus, they make it easy to add on health benefits and even 401ks for your team. Those old school clunky payroll providers that you're probably used to, they were not built for the way modern businesses like ours are run but Gusto is. So let Gusto wear one of the many hats in your business. Side Hustle Pro listeners, you can get three months free when you run your first payroll. Just try a demo. Head over to gusto.com slash SHP. That's gusto.com slash SHP for your free demo. Enjoy. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. The online learning community is offering Side Hustle Pro listeners a free trial of premium membership. Now, many of you already know that one of my biggest side hustle hacks is Skillshare. I've been using Skillshare for years now. You've heard me talk about it. And that's because it's the truth. There are so many excellent classes on Skillshare on topics such as freelance and entrepreneurship, marketing, video, websites, basically everything you need for your side hustle and more. So my most recent class on Skillshare is this class called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. And I found it helpful because it guided me through every stage of creating engaging content and then went into techniques for how to grow my YouTube channel. And it was taught by a YouTuber with over 13 million downloads. So I think he knows what he's talking about. (laughs) So Skillshare is where I go when I want to explore new skills, when I want to brush up on my old skills, when I want to develop new techniques, I go to Skillshare. And Skillshare has classes for every skill level. So you can take short lessons, you can squeeze it into your day, it's very easy. Plus, they also have a hands-on project to make sure that you practice and reinforce what you learn. So, you've heard me rave about it, now it's time to explore your creativity at Skillshare.com slash hustle. Side Hustle Pro listeners, you will get one month free trial of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash hustle. Again, one more time, that is one month of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash hustle. Another example. The other day, I started feeling daunted. I was watching YouTube, some of my favorite YouTube girls, and I started feeling intimidated. I said, oh my goodness, (laughs) they're so good. Like, this is real, this is excellent editing, excellent transitions. They really thought this through. And not to mention, they know how to promote now. When I'm watching them on IG, like they just seamlessly drop their stuff and it's like, wow, they are good. Their videos are perfectly edited. The music is great. The lighting is awesome. They're using a real camera. I'm just going to be using my iPhone to start. I don't have a backdrop in my home that works yet. I'm trying to figure out where to film, you know, to sit by the sunlight, but also not have a mess or a bunch of toys in the background. Or maybe I do need to have a bunch of toys in the background and just, you know, let myself be natural as possible. And saying all this to say, I started the cycle, you guys, the cycle that I I, I told you about, the stages of the side hustle. I started that doubt of, you know, Am I qualified? Am I good enough? Can I really do this? Do I know enough? How am I going to do this? Then I had to stop myself. I said to myself, you know what? So what if that person is good? My audience subscribes to more than one YouTuber. They don't just want to watch these one or two YouTubers every day. They want variety. After they are done with that one video, they are ready to watch the next. And that's when I had to say to myself, there is room for me. What's for me is for me. And nobody can take that away from me. 
there are people out there who gravitate to me and will gravitate to me just based on the fact that we have things in common and they have those things in common with me that they don't have in common with someone else. So yes, they will subscribe to those people or other people, but they're also subscribing to me. Ask yourself, have you enjoyed a burger from more than one restaurant in your life? If you're a vegetarian and that didn't apply, have you eaten a veggie meal from more than one restaurant in your life? I think so, right? I think that you've eaten from a different place in your life. So do you feel like eating the same meal from the same place every single day? Or do you like variety? Or do you want to experiment and try different things? Or do you like different places for different reasons? Do you like to mix it up? It's the same thing with what you were trying to create. No matter how good a product is, the chances are people have more than one brand of that soap, lotion, clothing, food in their households. And for my content creators, people are consuming more than one channel or show. Humans like variety. Your side hustle is creating a new option. If there are things in the market, that is good. That means that there's an audience for that. And you have a ripe audience ready for more content or products like the ones that they're already consuming. Just like there's room in their pantry, there's room for you in whatever space you're interested in entering. There's room for you. Affirm that. Tip number two, lean into your feelings of vulnerability. Let yourself be vulnerable, (laughs) point blank period. Let yourself be imperfect in front of people's eyes. This habit that we all have and this practice that we've developed, whether it is from growing up and competing for grades or whether it's from social media now and wanting to show the highlight reel, but this habit and this instinct of only showing like things when you have it figured out or when it's really buttoned up or really smoothed out, perfectly edited, is detrimental to your progress. You can only make progress when you allow yourself to be vulnerable and to learn. And if it means that other people will see you stumble as you're learning, so be it. So be it. Like, I just thought about the fact that, you know, let's say you want to learn how to ride a bike and there happen to be other people around. Are you going to go back in your house and like not learn how to ride a bike because there's no park where no one is around? You know what I mean? You have got to just not think about anyone else, get into tunnel vision and make the progress that you need to make. You will be more impactful when you are true to yourself and you focus on progress and you allow yourself to be vulnerable. And also, we are living in an age where people are craving that more and more. People are craving seeing the imperfections. I know that, you know, for me, it was helpful for myself as a a new mom to follow women who showed the real and not just like themselves perfectly made up in a perfect outfit after they'd just given birth a day ago. Like that, to me, I didn't resonate with that. I just couldn't relate. I just couldn't relate. And so I gravitated to mothers who showed more of the real of what postpartum is like. So we are living in an age where it is okay to show your audience or consumers the process behind the product, behind the person, behind the brand. Embrace that. That is one of the reasons why I've been so open with what I'm trying to build and how difficult it is in a pandemic, plus parenting in a pandemic. Like, I missed a whole week, you know? This is real life. But rather than running from the vulnerability, I feel I decided to embrace it. Like, this is part of my journey of starting this new um, brand, this new channel that I'm doing. And um, this is how the process came to be. And I'll be so happy when I can look back at it and say, wow, I can't believe all that was going on. It will be so beautiful to listen back to this episode when I'm further along. And you guys will also be able to see my growth and be able to see that this is how I was feeling at the start. I did it anyway. I pushed through. I invited you all along the journey. I said, let's encourage each other. Let's hold each other accountable and look where it got us. So tip number two is to lean into your feelings of vulnerability. 
aka let yourself be vulnerable and be okay with learning in front of other people. You do not have to be perfect when you're starting out. You don't have to be perfect ever, but you do not have to look like you have it all together when you don't just live your life and make progress. And one last thing with tip number two, I saw a quote on IG the other day that really resonated with me. And it says, most people don't ever start because they don't want to be seen starting at the bottom. Don't be most people. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. It's like we feel sometimes like we can't show ourselves (laughs) starting from the bottom, but that's literally where everyone starts. So do not be afraid to start from the bottom. Let's rise together. Tip number three, remind yourself that this is bigger than you. What do I mean by that? Okay, I saw a quote the other day from Kirk Franklin, of all people, and it was a tweet that he wrote. He said, it's amazing to me how people's dreams never get past the idea level. You've got to push through and figure out why you don't complete what God has planted inside of you. Don't die full of seeds. And that really struck me because every now and again, we are reminded for sad reasons that, you know, we only get one chance to do this thing and we got to make the most of it. Another way I think of it is um, back when I used to dance, there was this phrase we would say to each other right before we'd hit the stage for a performance. And it would be, you know, leave it all on the dance floor. Meaning sometimes when you're in practice, you're not supposed to, but sometimes people hold back a little bit. They kind of mark the steps because you're doing it so many times you get tired and you don't give it all the energy you could. But when you're about to go on stage in front of that audience, you're like, you know, you do your chants, your prayers, and you're like, leave it all on the dance floor, meaning go all out, give it all your energy. If you have to leave that dance floor, when you get to the wings, pants, be out of breath, need that water, give it everything you got. And that's the way you should be approaching life. This is bigger than you. You have a reason for being here. You have a calling. You are on assignment. You have things that you were meant to do while you are here. If you are not doing them, get to it. This is bigger than you. There's literally somebody out there that needs what you have. When I release an episode and someone tells me how it has impacted them, it reminds me that it's bigger than me. I've had a guest that had a message that someone who's a listener needed to hear. Like, this is bigger than me. That was my assignment. And I completed my assignment by being consistent, by going through in the moments where I doubt myself and I say, is this good? Am I good enough? Am I doing the right thing? What else can I be doing? Am I doing it right? All of those doubts, when you push through, you are following through with your assignment because this is bigger than you. I want you guys to leave it all on the dance floor. That is how you overcome the doubt. Give it all you've got, even when you're unsure. Do not leave this earth with your seeds. So that is your mission for week two, you guys. Tip one, affirm that there is room for you. Tip two, lean into your feelings of vulnerability. And tip number three, remind yourself that this is bigger than you. I don't want to hear no more, Nikayla, I want to, but I'm just scared of X. Or I would, but ooh. Or I wish I was more like you. You have an idea and then you launch it. No, you are like me. You can do this. We are the same, okay? We have to affirm that there's room for us. We have to lean into the feelings of vulnerability. And we just have to remind ourselves that this is bigger than us. If you've been feeling those feelings of doubt, know that it's totally natural, okay? But I want you to act on it. Do it nervous. Do it scared. Do it while you're uncomfortable. Do it imperfect, okay? I'm doing it while it's imperfect. I am doing it while it is imperfect. That's why I have launched the Nikayla TV channel on YouTube with no videos. That's why you will see the Nikayla TV page on Facebook, the Nikayla TV page on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, with content pending, content soon come, (laughs) okay? Because I'm doing it 
while I'm uncomfortable, I'm doing it imperfect. And most importantly, guys, hold yourself accountable. If you need to come over to the boot camp to do that, then do that. I have set my intention of starting my newest side hustle right here on this podcast, as well as on my social channels, as well as to my email list. And in addition to actually doing the work behind the scenes, I am holding myself accountable and holding you guys accountable. So I invite you over to the Side Hustle Pro Bootcamp. Again, you can sign up at sidehustlepro.co slash bootcamp. You will receive an email once a week sharing tips for moving forward with your side hustle as well as behind the scenes. I know this works because it is like having that friend that updates you on their progress and iron sharpens iron. It makes you want to go harder on your own side hustle. So I know it works because I myself am here because of accountability partners. So I want you to experience that magic. In addition, inside of the Side Hustle Pro Facebook group, we then have our weekly check-ins where we share what we're working on, share the progress that we've made. So Again, that's sidehustlepro.co slash bootcamp to sign up for that. And there you have it, guys. Talk to you next week in week three of the Side Hustle Pro Bootcamp series. Hey guys, thanks for listening to Side Hustle Pro. If you like the show, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts. It helps other side hustlers just like you to find the show. And if you want to hear more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Side Hustle Pro. Plus, sign up for my six foot Saturday newsletter at sidehustleproco slash newsletter. When you sign up, you will receive weekly nuggets from me, including what I'm up to, personal lessons, and my business tip of the week week. Again, that's sidehustlepro.co slash newsletter to sign up. Talk to you soon.